Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And to those who haven't seen or spoken to already, I want to say a pleasant, happy new year to you and all the best for 2023. In our devotion today, I want to encourage believers who have entered into the season of fasting and prayer and to those who are contemplating entering in the season of spiritual discipline to seek the face of God, to pray and ask God's direction and help even now. To fast God's way, we must follow the leading of Holy Spirit. As believers, fasting and prayer will be empty without the leading of Holy Spirit. Fasting involves the flesh, but it is the work of the Spirit. I want to say that again. Fasting involves the flesh, but it is the work of Holy Spirit. When we fast, we must have a plan. How long is the fast? Why am I fasting? What am I fasting from? Indeed, food is a principal point to fast from. But there's social media, there's television, there's entertainment, etc. Anything that distracts us from seeking God or being more like Him, we need to put it aside during the season of fasting and prayer. There must be a commitment to the plan. We must follow through. If we commit to fast one day, three days, a week, 21 days, there must be a commitment, a follow through the plan. Fasting is not for God to benefit, no, but for you and I to draw closer to God. That's purpose of fasting. We cannot manipulate God, no, but rather we must change. We must adjust and draw closer to God. In fasting, one must depend on God during the fast. Fasting is a discipline. Fasting is a tool in the kingdom of God to keep the flesh in subjection to the spirit. Fasting does not manipulate God. Someone once said, fasting, and I quote, Fasting is not a magical way to manipulate God into doing our wills. It is not a way to get God to be an accomplice to our plans. Neither is fasting a spiritual way to lose weight or control others. Rather, fasting clears us out and opens us up to intentionally seeking God's will and grace in a way that goes beyond normal habits of worship and prayer. While fasting, we are one on one with God, offering Him the time and attentiveness we might otherwise give to eating, shopping, or watching television, end of quote. And we have a great example, Jesus himself, who was preparing for ministry, for service, and he was led in the wilderness to fast and pray in preparation for his work and ministry. Yes. There must be a plan. We must stick to it, be focused, and depend on God in the process. And we read Jesus' account 
in Matthew 4, verse 1 and 4, and it reads, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit in the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. The word of God to the people of God. Fasting is following the example of our Savior Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. It is not taboo, but it's the kingdom's way of getting nearer to God, denying the flesh, and letting the Holy Spirit prevail in our lives. It is not fun, but fasting is powerful. And God is awaiting to empower us in this season as we submit to him. Father, we thank you and we praise you for your will to be done in us as believers in this season. And for your kingdom to come, we seek understanding, direction. We are depending and trusting you in this time. Thank you for believers who are committing themselves to the season. Indeed, you called us to it. For you said, when you fast, you're expecting it. And we praise you that you love us more, even now, as we obey you, as we serve you. We honor you today. And we give you thanks for your great grace that is here to help us in this time of need. We commend those who lead the nations this morning, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families. We commend them to you and we say, Lord, have your way. Cause them to hear you even in this season as they seek to fast and pray. We pray for leaders of the nations. Yes, thank you for those who lead in our society. We commend to you today. We bless you for those who lead in the body of Christ. May we lead following hard after you today. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. We commend to you today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we give you praise. Amen. Thank you for listening and sharing today. God bless you as we seek God in this season. And those of us who are contemplating entering it, let's seek God. Let's pray. Let's act this direction and find ourselves in his word. God is here to help us, and that right early. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. <laughs>